This one is easy. All you need is just a couple of solar flowers, spare ones left over from a couple projects, and some supplies from Walmart, and boom, you've got an Easter arrangement. Hey flower stabbers, it's Jessica with Soul Flower University. And if you're anything like me, after doing a couple of soul flower projects, you definitely have a couple of extra soul flowers running around. And so today we're gonna take those extra soul flowers, a few supplies from Walmart, and we are gonna make the bomb.com Easter arrangement that you can make like today and have in time for Easter. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay, lovely. So today what we're gonna be needing is a couple different types of greenery. I got three different kinds of greenery from Walmart. And then we are also going to need five small solo flowers, a stone or metal pot, again, found from Walmart, and a dry foam block. All right, so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm gonna get each of my colors put together. The colors that I chose today are actually the colors of Easter, which are red, pink, purple, white, and gold. Uh, to create my red though, however, I am deciding to do a fuchsia pink with a red center. And so that's what you see me creating here is I'm actually creating a fuchsia pink uh, color. And then I'm gonna take some water and I'm gonna mix it with that fuchsia paint. You'll see I measured out three tablespoons and then one tablespoon of paint. This is the, uh, the amount of paint that I need to spray paint. And so you will be seeing me do this with each of my colors. So again, this is my fuchsia pink that I'm doing for my red. And now I am doing my light pink to represent love. And this is my purple. Uh, purple represents royalty. And then here I'm doing my white, and white represents purity. Later you'll see where the gold comes in, but for right now, these are the colors that I'm going to focus on. Alright, something that I like to do to help my paint flow through my airbrush a little bit easier is I actually add a flow enhancer. And in each of these, depending on how much paint I did, I will add different amounts of drops. Uh, the amount where I did six tablespoons of water, I did four drops. The amounts where I did only uh, three tablespoons of water, I will only do two drops. And then again, this just kind of helps the paint flow through my airbrush a little bit easier and helps keep it from drying on the tip. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. It, I'm not affiliated with it at all. It's just something that I like to use. So now I'm taking my fuchsia pink and I'm going to pour it into my airbrush cup and start airbrushing my flower. When I'm airbrushing, especially just like a general color, I don't really use any one technique. I tend to just start in the center and then work my way out. again starting in the center and working my way out getting all those petals um, really trying to open up the flower as I go so that way I get the inside so we don't have a lot of gaps in color on the flower here's another pink flower that I'm doing just to show you how to do it again in a little bit slower Now I'm going to go in and add in that red center and I'm just going to create my red color really fast just adding the red and a little bit of water together real fast and putting that in my spray paint.
you can see here, my son is trying to help me out, so you'll see a little bit of his hands. He's uh, more helpful than he thinks he is. <laughs> see it adds just a little bit of dramatic flair in that flower and it really adds a lot of dimension making that red center really adds a lot here I'm gonna go ahead and do my pink flowers real fast and I'm actually going to color not only my pink flowers this pink color I'm actually also going to be coloring my purple flowers with a base of pink I'm doing this just to add a little bit of dimension and then a little bit of extra color to go under the purple my purple see I'm covering over that pink and adding in that purple and what it does is it creates this undercolor of pink that shows up in the purple ever so slightly and it's really cool for adding just a little extra dimension of color a little extra something under that purple obviously the purple is a very strong color so it's going to cover that really nicely and the pink only just kind of shows up as like a little undercolor Airbrushing is really fun for adding layers of color and creating a lot of dimension. Here I'm taking my pink flowers and I'm adding just a tad of white on the outer edges. What this is doing is again adding just a touch of dimension and helping create that realistic flower look, adding a little bit of color and dimension. It's fun. now I'm gonna go ahead and paint my white flowers again airbrushing a general color is not that hard generally just start in the center and go on outwards uh, solo flowers I do paint them white even though they're kind of naturally a, um, a white color just because um, when you're doing a pure white you want to get it really white in here um, I am going to go in and paint the edges of the white flowers with a little bit of gold I feel like this is a really great way to bring in gold, again, without it being overbearing, but it just adds that little, little bit of extra on those white flowers, and it really brings out that, it, it brings out that gold in a really nice way. Here you can see my pink flower up close. Here's my purple flower up close, see that little pink underneath? And here's my red flower with the red center. All right, now here we're gonna go ahead and stem the flowers. Uh, I've shown how to stem below so before, and so if you would like to see how to stem, I'll link that in a video down below, uh, how to stem your flowers. And right here, I'm just using that technique that I talked about in that video where I stem them, and then I also add a little bit of floral tape, and it just creates it a little bit more secure. But again, if this is going too fast for you, I, I will link the video down below and so that way you can go over there and watch that and see how to do that for yourself. All right, after you've got your flowers all stemmed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull out our pots. You can see here I've got both a stem pot and a metal pot. Either one will work. I just pulled out both to show that you can do it in both pots. Here I'm taking my foam and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and get it fit in my pot. 
so that way I can st put my flowers in. Uh, I just use my scissors. You can use a knife or however works best for you, but honestly all you're doing is you're just cutting the foam and you're fitting it into the gaps so that way you have something to stab into. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other pot and now we're gonna go over to the greenery. So the greenery, all I'm doing is I'm just cutting off um, each of the stems, not doing anything fancy today with the greenery. And this will just make it really easy to stab it in. Uh, each pot I'm actually using half a bunch of greenery in each uh, just to make my life a little bit easier. Um, you could use a whole bunch of greenery if you want, but today I'm just using half a bunch of each of the three different types of greenery. I'm using three different types of greenery to make sure I add lots of texture. One of my greeneries today is these purple flowers. They're really pretty and as you can see I've added them in in a triangle pattern into both of them. And then I'm taking my ectolipus today and I'm going to go ahead and cut them just like I did before and I'm going to stick them in each of the pots. Uh, again, just doing half a bunch per pot. Remember when you have three greenery, you want to put them in in a triangle fashion. Keeping in mind kind of the rules of uh, floristry where you start from the outside where you start from the center and you work your way out and you kind of create that base of a shape here. Uh, this next greenery I'm pulling out is a Mary Bix, uh, I'm sorry, a Berry Bix mix from uh, Walmart. And this berry mix I really like. Uh, again, all this greenery can be found at Walmart. These pots I found at Walmart, the foam I found at Walmart. The only thing I did not find at Walmart is the solo flowers. Though there are times where I have found solo flowers in some certain packs of dried uh, things from Walmart. So you could technically get solo flowers from Walmart if you were trying really hard. <laughs> um, but the whole point of this is if you had a few extra solo flowers hanging around from a few projects, especially wedding projects or home decor projects, this is a really easy one to do for Easter. So I'm going ahead and adding in the berry mix into the pot. Uh, again, arranging it where I've got three on, well actually I think with this one I have four on the outside and then one in the center, arranging it around evenly so that way we get greenery that's well-rounded and there's not any clusters of any one type of greenery in any one area. As you can see, I went ahead and did this in the other pot and now we get to add in this last type of greenery that I bought. I really like this greenery because it's really great for adding in just a little bit of dark greenery. Again, finding this at Walmart. All of these, all this greenery can be found at Walmart and it's really cheap. Usually it's like a dollar or two per bundle. So not bad, really easy, really easy uh, Easter arrangement to do. After adding this to both pots, we're going to kind of shape things and fluff out the greenery and make sure everything is covering real well. And then we're going to go and grab our flowers. I'm going to grab two white flowers. Uh, again, these white flowers have been painted with a little bit of gold. You can do any Easter color that you would like on your flowers. These are just the colors that I did to have the colors of Easter. So, you know, uh, some pretty pastels, you could keep the purple if you wanted and do like some pinks and yellows. I was just going for something that was a little bit more symbolic. Keeping with the floristy rules, I've got, I've got the four flowers on the outside and then one flower in the center. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the other pot now. Is. And here is my other pot, all nice and arranged and pretty. Movie magic is awesome, isn't it? <laughs> all right, 
that is my Easter arrangement. Thank you so much for watching today. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Help me build an empire of awesomeness. And that is all I have. So don't forget to stay creative and I'll see you later. Bye.